Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today will be yet again another figure review, and it will be on Star Wars Episode One: Queen Amidala Coruscant. Um, I decided that I will do reviews on all my Padme Amidala figures first. Um, I don't have that many loose and carded, so I think I have about maybe two more loose and carded. They're both loose and carded. Um, then I'll probably either just do some of the loose ones I have. I have one loose one. She's not complete, but I will possibly be doing that. But anyway, before we get into the figure, let's take a look at her packaging. I'll move her to the side. Um, again, we have the Darth Maul up in the corner. We have Star Wars Episode One, ages four and up. The figure, Queen Amidala Coruscant. Um, a nice picture of Queen Amidala. Now, this was back in the time when Queen Amidala and Padme were supposedly two different characters. Here is her Comtech chip, and she is in Collection 1, the Hasbro logo. On the back, we have that same read-up about Episode 1. Um, I will read the description on Queen Amidala. Queen Amidala, the young ruler of Naboo, would do anything possible to save her planet from the Trade Federation's diabolical attempt to consume her planet. And here are her lines from the Comtech chip. The Naboo system has been invaded by the droid armies of the Trade. I've come to resolve this attack on our sovereignty now. I suggest new leadership is needed. This, the chip does interact with Senator Palpatine and Council of Valor. Um, here's a little read-up on the uh, Comtech reader. And here is the figures in the wave. Um, I think this is two different waves. You got Tatooine, Anakin Skywalker, um, Obi-Wan, Battle Dress Queen Amidala, Darth Maul, Jar Jar, Jedi Duel Qui-Gon, Padme Naberi, um, number 13 is Darth Maul Tatooine, um, Nabu Obi Wan and Nabu Qui Gon, um, Coruscant Pat, Queen Amidala, and I think this is n number nine is Nabu. Yeah, Nabu Anakin Skywalker, and a battle droid, Hasbro points, the Hasbro logo, Star Wars site, and the Hasbro site, and this figure came out in 1999. Um, the Star Wars fan club. Right down there. I think she came out maybe. I don't know. Was the other one 1990? Yeah, this was 1999. So that is the packaging. Unlike the, pa the Padme and the Berry, she stands up because it is a little thing down there. Now, on to the figure. Before we get into that, sorry. Let's go over her only accessory. And that is the Comtech chip. A picture of Queen Amidala. And then her name and status on the back. Um, the figure. Her face does resemble Natalie Portman in the makeup. Um, the detail on the headdress is very nice. Along with the embroidery down the collar right here. And along the sides. And even on the dress. The sleeves. And on the inside, the detail is very nice. Um, hold on, I'm trying to get this thing to focus. The back has displays again the nice detail in the hair and on the outfit. Um, I don't, um, I don't think she has articulate. Well, she does. She has a little articulation in the neck. Her arms are swivel arms. She can only go up and down like the other Padme. Um, there are no, I don't believe there's any articulation in her feet. Well, yeah, there is. I lied. There is some, but not a lot. But it is hindered by this. Um, she does have gloves. The little. Ooh. She does have them on her hands. And this figure, I have a problem with it because when you go to stand her, she kind of does that. But when you, you can't fit her because she has the pegs in her feet. 
you can't fit her on the little little peg right there because it won't work and if you get her stand on this then because see she doesn't stand but she does stand very well on this for some reason I have a problem with her I need to get some poster tack to make her stay but I have a problem with her standing in my glass cabinet which is where I keep them she likes to knock over all my clone troopers and then I have to pick up everything in my cabinet so that's not something I like doing so I really I don't ever use this stand with her because she does stand somewhat okay in the cabinet like by herself but with the stand she's always following following falling sorry so I kind of use the stand for another figure I use it for my Luke Skywalker which I probably will be doing a review on him soon but I just use it for him because he does not stand Ooh, come on stand okay well anyway guys this was a short one compared to the one on Padme and Barry because this figure isn't my favorite Queen Amidala I do like it but this isn't my favorite outfit nor is it my favorite figure so I didn't really take a lot of time on this well I probably should be doing reviews all throughout the day so you might see some but it does take a while for my stuff to load so if not there would be one up tomorrow well goodbye guys thank you for watching